come back out and you're going to notice a little difference here and that is debris lots of debris on the road debris over there across the street and if you look here in the backyard again we got down trees and limbs A lot of stuff that's kind of falling down out of the trees. See a little squirrel running across there. Scampering around. Probably got knocked out of a tree. But, uh, seems to have calmed down a little now. We may be in... Well, the wind is up, but the rain is... There's a lot less rain right now. again we've got the you know the rain and wind and all blowing in the trees over there keeping them stirred up I'm watching a limb on that tree there that's about dead center of the screen now that I'm kind of expecting might fall I don't know Heard some um, police sirens earlier. You know, maybe a fire or something going on somewhere in town. We got a lot of wind coming through here. You can see the limbs and trees and all. This is the backyard. A lot of debris. Now this is something that I saw earlier, and it's interesting because of the wind and all, but up under this tree, you're going to see a lot of blackbirds, and um, what's happening here is that the wind is blowing and it's keeping the trees stirred up, and these birds, they can't stay in the trees, so they're just you know, walking around under the, under the tree here. picking worms and nuts or anything that's fallen down out of the tree. Eating it. Probably enjoying the heck out of all of this. see all the little blackbirds here whoops they flew away and it's you know it's kind of funny with the, the birds but they're trying to get up in the trees and well frankly you know they're having a time trying to get landed on something that's stable you can see them in the bushes over there I mean in that tree over there <laughs> sort of flailing around Desperately trying to find some sort of stable ground. And when you can't find stable ground, well, you just get on the ground and sort of weather it out. Yeah, they're flying around trying to trying to find some kind of stable platform to land in. And the trees are whipping around, the wind's whipping around. And it's just giving these birds fits. Now this is kind of weird because, I mean, it's just got quiet. A little bit of wind in the trees over there now, 
I'm starting up. No rain, hardly at all. Maybe just a mist. Okay, now here it comes again. Another wave coming in. You can see rain there. Again, birds trying to remain airborne, fighting against, <coughs> excuse me, fighting against the winds. <laughs> There's a heck of a lot of debris down. Mostly small stuff. You can see it in the road out there. And it's just going to continue to do this, scatter debris and all across the ground as this storm continues. And there it is. We're out of power. I don't know how long we will be out of power. It's uh, 10.07. Who knows, this may be the way it's going to be for a while. of a tree. Try to get into a position where we can see over in this direction, but there's a lot of trees in the way. So that was definitely the weight of a tree popping, uh, cracking a limb that probably going to come down very soon. I think it was in the neighbor's yard next door. These trees are so saturated with water right now, they're, they're probably about three times their normal weight. And uh, as long as this continues, they're just, they're getting soaked even more and as they absorb water. You know, they get heavy and they break and fall. Well, I think we can officially call it a hurricane now. This is Katrina. She finally arrived. You can see the difference in the trees now. Got a tree down over there, limb down. Kicking up a storm. Got some limbs down over there. Yeah. Up and down the street. There's all kinds of limbs in the ground. In the oh, there's that bush over here. Kind of beaten down. Saturated with water. We've got it. Limbs over there and water running down the ditch. You can see in the backyard back there how windy and all it is. The power is off. It's been off. Went off about 10 this morning. It's 12:19 now. This is Katrina. She is blustering up a nice little storm here. You are seeing it. High pressure winds. bad there. That was really, really bad. Yeah. I mean, that's serious. Here comes 
comes another serious win. It is amazing to see the fury of a hurricane. Major winds going on here. Things are falling down out of the sky. Leaves and winds. Wind and rain. Oh, look at my car. <laughs> it's just like covered in straw and stuff. Isn't that weird? Oh, oh, there we go. The styrofoam cup is gone. Big waves coming in here. Wow. Definitely don't want to be out in this. Yep, just had a limb fall. I don't know if I got that or not. Notice something. My neighbor's mailbox is missing off the pole. Yeah, I think mine's okay. Yeah. Weird. Chimes are really going now. Hear another air burst coming through. Limbs and all down, all in the yard. Hmm. Hurricane Katrina. that's going to be remembered. Yeah. Now, I don't know if you're picking it up on the camera, but off to the left here, you can see the trees and all there. I can hear the hurricane, I mean, the uh, tornado sound. The rumbling. It may be on soundtrack. Maybe getting that. You can see rain being blown off the roof of that house over there. That continuous rumbling sound. Burst just come through. That was big time. My door flew off the hinge right there. That burst that just came through. Yeah. Product of that low level rumbling that I was hearing. That was it, it just went through. Okay. 
see this area. Uh, one wicked storm here. You can kind of see how it is just this tree right here. It's just, it is just beaten up, you know. It is just saturated with uh, rain and beaten and you got all these trees back in there how they're just weathering it you know they're just handling it and I don't want to get the camera wet but I would like rotate around maybe and try to get a shot this direction but I see a limb here I'm going to see if I can get up there to it to show you that it's falling down out of that coming down out of that tree there to see it there with it. Anyway, I, don't, I can't tell in the viewfinder. But it's a limb that snapped in about. You can hear the limbs popping. Yeah. I'm hearing trees breaking around me. And there's that low level. Another big bird. Seriously scary stuff right there. Okay, I've got a big limb tree, actual tree down here in my backyard. Got an actual tree down right there. Yeah. Can't get around here to see much more of it, but it is a small tree that was in the woods there that come down in my backyard. Yeah. Now I missed it just a second ago looking at the tree, but out of the corner of my eye, right down here there was a little squirrel that was just trying to find him a little place to get. You know. He, he just looked kind of like he was just scared out of his wits. Oh, look at my backyard. It is like totally covered in like little limbs and, and broken branches and things. And another micro burst, major burst, big burst going through right now. You can see, you can see the trees and all over there. Now we're talking major winds here. I mean, uh, I would say. 75 mile per hour winds when those bursts come up, possibly even, even faster than that. Okay, I'm hearing another crack now. Another major, oh, I'm seeing damage to the shingles on the house next door. Trees, trees cracking and limbs coming down. And that burst there is over. There's going to be some serious debris to have to clean up after all of this. Yeah. Alright. Got an ever so brief little lull here. And in this little lull I want to show the backyard. 
Oh man, it's like, well, here comes another burst, and you're right along here with me. We are, we are witnessing a hurricane in its fury. I mean, Katrina, with all the damage and all that's done on the coast, this is, um, this is, you know, nothing. This is a Category 3 storm hitting us far up at uh, Laurel, Mississippi, which is where we are now. This this footage is being shot in Laurel. It's 12.24, no, rather 12.29 in the afternoon. And there's some idiot out there driving around in this mess. But, um, you're seeing Katrina's aftermath on a, um, on a low-level scale. I mean, imagine, you know, three times this is what hit the coast. And we're getting this this far up. We're 100 miles from the coast. This morning, the coast got all of this. And, uh, of course, they're saying that, that this is worse than Camille. And I remember Camille, and <laughs> it was no picnic. Of course, this isn't either. Had a couple of frightening moments here with the camera. But uh, I'm going to continue to record a little bit longer. But I'll be honest, and I'm really getting my feel of this. And here we go again, another burst. It's just it's blowing rain and water off the houses next door. You just see the whipping around of all of them. There we go. It's just literally just tearing everything up, you know, and there's that low level rumble again that precedes one of those major bursts. And so I think we're gonna get get another burst here, right? About now. Yeah, here she comes. It is just seriously mucking up the whole neighborhood, you know what I mean? I noticed the door on my mailbox is now open. But, it's a hurricane, you know? Not your typical storm. can't believe people are out driving around in this. Sightseers, probably. I don't know if the squirrel made it to a safe haven. But he was sure looking for some place to hide a minute ago. And I tell you what, I'd open the door and let him in the house if I could. <laughs> Of course, the dog would probably have a field day with that. She's like, yeah, come on, bring him in here. We'll take good care of him. Katrina continues to beat the hell out of Wall, Mississippi. It's Katrina from my backyard. And I think I'm running low on battery power here, so I'm going to shut down and maybe we'll get to see some more later if it gets any worse another burst here oh this one's bad whoa seriously bad
Okay, I think I've had enough of this. Next couple of days or so. Well, here we are. We're back on the the radar imagery here, and you can see almost. You can kind of see out the window there. The eye is now about 20 miles off Hattiesburg, and we are in here in Laurel receiving really the the worst of uh, of the storm because we're getting that uh, eastern side. Peter bands right here and all. Is our friend at this point in time, we want to see uh, dry air intrude into this storm and maybe choke off the sidewall here. Again. You can hear uh, the audio from Channel Seven out. there. They just had a tree out. hit the building just there. The of the Hattiesburg thud while they were on the air. The you afternoon. can see that tree right Let's there. Go just back to the, uh, the gusts out. and all are, are kicking up now. Maybe see if we can get some verification of what we're looking at here. And again, Laurel, you are really getting pounded right now, bearing the brunt of the storm. Wind gust. Uh, Steve just told me when that flood hit, hit our station here that the wind gust at that moment was 90 miles per hour. Now, it could have been even higher than that. It could have been around 100 miles per hour. So as that flood hit the station, uh, Steve reported to me instantaneously that we had that gust of 90, possibly even 100 miles per hour. Again, along I-59, there is going to be a break. I know many of you keep saying, yeah, you've been talking about that break for a while, and we're still feeling the effects of this powerful wind. But I do want to reanalyze the southern portion of this storm. Let's go let's pan back to the southwest if we okay. could do this here. Uh, and that's what's going on right now. Uh, okay. Um, this is the backyard. We are really getting hit by the brunt of the storm now. I just wanted to come out and get some footage here. You can see across the road here the degree trees down and limbs in the road. The damage done and then over here remember that tree there yeah serious serious damage and you can see now the intensity of Katrina Historic storm. We're just looking at some of the worst carnage, literally. Ginger, get out of there. Ginger's trying to get out in the storm and play. So I need to get her. Yeah, okay, now this is... I'm hearing a tree that makes it sound like it may be about to come down here. Whoa! This is... Incredible! Wow! Come on, Ginger, get in. Come on, hurry! Come on! Okay. Oh, that's just wow. That was intense. Okay, I've got like very low power now. I mean, the battery actually indicates that there is no battery power. But I'm going to just shoot a few more seconds of footage here. And uh, I'm going to go offline now in case I need some little extra energy for something that may happen. Yeah, definitely been some changes. Right there. Got a tree down in the front. See that. I'm going to pan across the yard here. You can 
see. We've got another tree down right there. And the backyard. The backyard's really got a lot of debris and stuff. The trees down there. What you can't see is around this side of the house. You can see the edge of it there. Got another tree down there. And then way down there at the end of the road, if you look real close, you can see where those trees are bent and broken over and into the road. Yeah, more damage there for that one. It's, uh, I mean, it looks like a war zone back there. Like a bomb went off. There's a tree back there leaning over, broken over behind the big tree. Those are laying over the road there. And we've got more damage here. And of course our neighbors are now out there assessing the damage as well. They were constructing a house over there. Looks like the rafters are still there. But who knows what they're going to have to do now to build that. You got a lot of damage. down the road. We'll try to record more in just a little bit. But we're kind of on the tail end of the storm now. It's almost over. Almost over.